Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will review a continuity equation question similar to one you might encounter in the mechanical section of the FE Exam. This episode and this question is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Which of the statements is true concerning the following continuity equation? A, it is valid only for incompressible flow. B, it is valid only for steady flow. C, it is derived from the principle of conservation of mass. And D, it is derived from the principle of conservation of energy. We typically don't do problems like this on past the FE exam. We do you know, more of the quantitative problems. We need to do calculations. However, we wanted to do this problem for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you read this question and you don't know the answer, what are you going to do? You're going to go to the FE reference handbook and you're probably going to look up continuity equation. If you do that, you will find the equation that you see here, but you will not find the answer to this question. What that means is it's one of those questions where you're either going to know it or you don't know it. If you know it, great, answer it and go to the next question. If you don't know it, typically when you don't know a problem, you have no idea, I would recommend skipping it so you don't waste a lot of time on it. But in a problem like this, that's this simple and this short, I would say guess quickly, take 30 seconds, make the best educated guess and move on. So let's think through that together. If we want to make an educated guess on this, how would we do that? Well, what do we know? We know that we have P equaling density, U is velocity in the X direction, V is velocity in the Y direction, and W is the velocity in the Z direction. Okay, so we pretty much have density and velocity here. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, so if we're looking at the four answers and we need to make an educated guess, is it valid for only incompressible flow or only steady flow? It'll be tough to kind of probably determine between those two. So let's look at the next two. It's derived from the principle of conservation of mass or conservation of energy. I would probably lean towards it be one of these two answers. However, how would I determine which one? When I look here, I see density. Density jumps out. I mean, density is related to mass. I don't see anything here necessarily related to energy per se. So I would most likely select C. Now let's look at the actual solution. In essence, the continuity equation states that the mass flux entering a control volume is equal to the mass flux leaving the control volume plus the rate of accumulation of mass within the control volume. It, being the continuity equation, is derived from the principle of conservation of mass. It is valid for all real and ideal fluids and for all types of fluid flow. Therefore, the correct answer is C. It is derived from the principle of conservation of mass. So a couple things here on this one that's important. If you don't know the answer and it's a very simple problem and you're not going to be able to figure out the answer towards the end of the exam, I would just take a quick guess and move on. If it's a question that you don't know, but you might be able to do some calculations and figure it out, skip it and then come back to it at the end of the exam, right? The idea here is to get as many as right as possible quickly. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I avoid not knowing the answer to this problem? Good question. One of the things that I did when I studied for the FE exam and the PE exam is try to understand what the equations are used for at a high level. You don't just want to be the person that just knows how to plug and chug. That's not going to help you pass the exam. So understand the continuity equation and what it's for. If you understood what it was for, you probably would get that answer. The same goes for all the equations, Bernoulli equation, any equation that you have to use. Try to understand at a high level what those equations are for, and that should help you to solve problems like this one. 
I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. You have to do a lot of practice problems to pass this exam. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.